What's up, all you amazing people? Matt Alonzo, I blog, therefore I am. I'm going to be answering the most frequently asked question I get, how I export for Instagram. I'm going to be using Adobe Premiere. Now you can shoot in whatever resolution you want to, 8K, 32K, 97 million K. But for Instagram, the higher resolution, the more pixelated you get. Let me show you how to make that footage look amazing. So the first thing you want to do is create a sequence. Now for this particular tutorial, we're going to be using DSLR, 1080p, 24 frames per second. Now I know people are going to say 2997 or other frame rates. This is not a debate. I'm just showing you how I do it. If you like the way my videos look, follow along. You're going to go over to setting. Instead of 1920 by 1080, we're going to make this 1080 by 1080. Now what you want to do is you want to save it as a preset so that you have it, label it, and press OK. Now the way the new algorithm works within Instagram, you actually get rewarded and placed higher on the feed if your content takes up more of the frame. Now I know a lot of us filmmakers shooting 16 by 9, 235, 255, and that works amazing everywhere except for Instagram. If you want your video seen, unfortunately, you're going to have to put it in a box. Now there's a couple ways to do it. One of them I have not tested, so I'm not sure if it works. You guys can try it out. Let me know if it actually works. Now the footage I'm using is 3840 by 2860. It was shot in 8K actually, but I do not export or work with any files larger than this one. So drag it into your sequence. Frame it up so that it fits the box. I highly suggest you do this after your video is completed. You've exported your QuickTime, Apple ProRes 422. Now bring it back in, put it into the sequence so you do have your high resolution master file and it's already rendered out, which is gonna make this time extremely, extremely quick. And you wanna to go to File, Export, Media. Okay, we're gonna to go to H.264. Now in preset, we're gonna grab mobile device, 1080p HD. We're also gonna match source here, just so that it goes back to 1080 by 1080. Now you can go ahead and save this preset here, and then press export. Usually, it takes around three to four minutes on my particular computer. The file size is gonna be somewhere around 50 to 100 megabytes. Now what I do is I airdrop it to myself just to make sure that the compression and everything stays the same, and that seems to actually work, so I highly suggest it. Now the other method that I wanted to show you is just something that came to my mind. Now I know a lot of you guys are still gonna to wanna to use your 16 by nine framing, so I think this is a workaround. If you still use the box, maybe even put white in just so that when you're scrolling through the feed, you still see the white bars. It might trick Instagram into believing that it actually is a full video. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You have to try that. But I do know that if you use 16 by nine, you want to be on the lower end of the totem pole in regards to the feed, just due to the amount of space you're taking up. Now, if you want to maximize your chances and increase the eyeballs on your content, you're going to want to use the other size on Instagram it's gonna be 1080 by 1350, it is a little bit of a funky size, but give it a try. This is how I do it. The question has finally been answered. Matt Alonzo, the film league, I'm out. I vlog.